described as a social issue on everybody's lips at the moment. Police have declared it a national emergency and unfortunately the issue is no more relevant than right here in Liverpool and the surrounding areas. Merseyside police say knife crime is at its highest level in 10 years, being up by 18% compared to last year and the highest since 2008. More than 900 serious incidents reported last year, with violent crime as a whole increasing by 14%. Merseyside Police's hashtag no more knives campaign has put the issue at the forefront of the city's concerns. But despite government and local interventions, the influence of sport in the area is continually deterring children away from crime. Dave Smith, who owns a football coaching company, spoke to me about the importance of sport in keeping young people out of trouble. In, in the sort of like in the cities, and I've heard, only, only heard the stories and watched the, watched the documentaries about boxing and that sort of thing in the inner cities. Again, that's more of a more of a bring, bringing them into the community side of it. So if you got them into the community, um, they're, they're less likely to, to cause mischief uh, and get themselves into further trouble. Government produce, um, promote it more? I think they probably could. Uh, there, are, there are more, to, you've got to get into the inner cities. But yeah, there's, there's, the government should be promoting a little bit more. It's, it's there if you, if, if you look for it, but you've got to look for it. Merseyside especially has a strong combat sports base. Boxer Tony Bellew and mixed martial arts fighters Paddy Pimler and Darren Till are amongst the city's best athletes. All have supported the Real Men Don't Carry Knives campaign. Boxing and MMA events across the city have already had great success in keeping young people focused and out of trouble. Further involvement in the city will only help to reduce crime in the area. James Lee, reporting from Mersey Sport Live.